I'm Sasha. I'm from Brazil. I go to Parsons. I've been living in New York for three years now. And my focus is systems and society uh, within the major of fashion design. And it focuses on different social causes and sustainability. Um, what is fashion to me? Fashion is not only a form of expression, but or just clothes that you put on every day. But also I think it's today that fashion can be used to aid in social causes. And most importantly, I think uh, we're in a period of time where we need to change the industry and having women lead, leading, it's something that it's very inspiring to see because it's been uh, industry controlled by men for many, many years. I'm here with fashion designer Sasha Menegel and she goes to Parsons. She's doing some pretty awesome stuff. So thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit more about what you do. Um, so I'm in my last year right now in college and my major is fashion design but my pathway is systems and society which um, we try to create a system to solve a problem in society, so we address uh, topics like gender issues, sustainability, and other taboos like sexual abuse and all of that. And what has touched you the most within you know, all of those topics? They're all very important, but what's something that really sticks out to you? Um, I think that sexual abuse is a big one for me because uh, it's something that is that happens to ev like not to everyone, fortunately, but like uh, it does happen a lot, and it's something that very little people address, and it is a big taboo in society. And Brazil is still a very like sexist country, and um, coming from that background and seeing my mother. Uh, Shusha, she had a foundation for 30 years and I grew up going there uh, and I met many kids that had suffered this and it's something that I hold very close to my heart. That is so beautiful, thank, thank you. you for sharing. Um, it brings us back to the motto that fashion is to love. Yeah. And if we can support people through fashion, overcoming adversity and, you know, becoming their best selves, that is the future. So you are part of that and thank you so much. We are so happy to have you here. I'm so honored. Thank you so much.